yo! What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. I'm hearing my wife singing outside. Anyway, uh, in this topic, let's continue our mechanical project. So in this uh, uh, video, I'm going to show you how to put some details to your ductwork by tagging them. Alright? Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open the level 1. Okay, so previously we are working on ceiling plan, but actually I prefer to work on my level 1. Okay, so I want to do my detailing, my tagging here on my level 1. Alright, okay, so let's get started. After opening the level 1, so what I'm going to do is, I want to separate um, this portion of my model. Okay, so that's why what I'm going to do is, from the view tab, before I tag it, from the view tab, I'm going to select here the callout. It creates a rectangular callout in the view. So we use this to create a separate view. Okay, so of a specific portion of the model. So I select the callout. Okay, and then I'm going to pick here. This is my first point. It's like you're just creating a rectangle. And then this is my second point here. There you go. And then I select modify. So you will notice there is now the callout. So if you want to open the callout, it's either you double click this or you double click the head here. Just double click. Okay, it will open now the callout. There you go. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'll try to hide the pattern of my floor here. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. You can also type VB or you can open this icon here. There you go. Now, the reason why I'm not able to modify my visibility graphic overrides is because of my uh, view template here. So currently, there is a template that is added or that is created. So I'll just select this one. So I just need to select none here, okay? So I do not want to have the view template so I can control the visibility graphic overrides freely. None, and then okay, there you go. So after that, let me try to select again my visibility graphic overrides, and voila! So you are now able to modify it. So I'm going to move down to my floors here, and then I select here the pattern. So I select the override, and then I'm going to uncheck the visibility of the pattern. And then select OK. And then select OK. There you go. So no more pattern and we are now able to see it nicely. Now let's get started on tagging our model. Okay. So let me tag first. Let's say for example this uh, diffuser. So to do that from your options bar I'm going to select the tag by category. Okay, and then I have an option here if I want to add the leader line. If, if there's a leader line, it looks like this. You see, there's a leader line, right? But for this one, I'm going to uncheck the leader line. And then I'll just move my pointer. So, there you go. And then I select here, modify. Modify. So, as you can see, it's a bit big. Okay. Let me try to adjust the scale. What about 1 is to 50? Okay, let me just use 1 is to 50 for the scale. So I can see my uh, tag a little bit nicer. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, as you can see, there's the number of my air terminal as well as the flow. So if I'm going to select this, you can verify that the flow is 235. Now, this number one here, that is actually the mark. So, let me just call this, let's say this is my air terminal dash one. Okay. And then I'm going to select apply. There you go. Nice. So, same with this one. I'm going to tag this one. So, I select this one. This time, I'm going to check here the leader. And then you have an op two option here if it is an attached end with the length of this or free end. This this one I'm going to select uh, free end. I move my pointer here. There you go. And then I'm going to place it somewhere here. And then I place it here. 
yes modify and then I'm going to select um, this tag I'm gonna click the drop down here oh I mean the sorry the type property and then there's the leader head arrow let me just change this to uh, arrow field 15 degrees and then okay there you go all right next is um oh uh, yeah I forgot to change the name here so I select the air terminal change the mark here so let's say this is my air terminal dash 2 there you go and then apply okay where's my model okay so after that uh, I'm going to put label also on my top here so to do that I just select again the tag without a leader okay then I'm gonna place it here I'm going to click this one I click here click here where else this one this one here place one here this one here this one this one all right then this one is circle this is uh, diameter this is a round duck type of duck right so you need to place the tag so that you'll be able to uh, differentiate if the duct is circle or round or rectangular right where else okay so this one so let's say I want to place it here again also so I'm gonna make uh, the leader checked so I'll just pick here pick here pick one there you go and then apply there you go okay so oh, I forgot to add the leader arrowhead oops so arrow field all right okay okay oh all right so I also need to add uh, tag on my equipment so I select again my tag uh, leader there you go I pick here pick and then I place it here and then modify so this is how it looks like so there's a box there so I'm going to select my uh, leader I mean the tag I'll just change that instead of boxed I just use the standard okay and you can also modify your tag family if you want so let's say your text is a bit uh, big or let's say it's a bit uh, small because if you click this one, there is no option here to change actually the height of your tag because this is a family. So if you want to modify that, so you need to select your tag and then there's the edit family. So from here, you can select this and then if you want, you can create multiple types of your uh, text label. So you can duplicate this. And then after that you change the name and then you change the property but for this one instead of creating a new type I will just change the width factor so let's say I'll just change this to 0.8 and then okay there you go so it looks like this then I'm going to load this into the project again just overwrite the existing version there you go okay alright so what I'm going to do next is after I put some details on my level 1 callout 1 I'll go to the roof view there you go and I'll just tag this also so same procedure I select tag by category I click here place one here place it here okay so select change the type to standard edit the type and then uh, change the leader arrow head to arrow field 15 degree there you go same with this duct here so let's say I want to specify the elevation of this duct so from the annotate this time I'm going to select spot elevation so I click this one there you go so I just pick this one pick here and pick here 
and then modify there you go so okay that's it so I'll just close the other views all right there you go so that's how you tidy up your model by adding some details Okay, giving some information to the uh, people who will be taking a look at this model okay so that's how you add your tag okay can you hear my wife singing <laughs> anyway yeah so this is how you add details to your model by adding tags so if you have any questions if you have any comments or suggestions you can just put it on the question uh, on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And again, don't forget to like my videos and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog site, learningwithreach.wordpress.com. Okay, so this is it. Again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.